Hey there everybody, Eric from Utter Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, it's the end of a long day of camping. We hiked into this beautiful location and it's time for dinner. But for tonight, I have a brand new stove and cooking system I'm excited to show you. Now here I have the End Camp five piece kit, which consists of this case. And inside here, you'll see a cutting board there's the actual cook surface. There's a burner down inside. I have this nice coffee brewing apparatus. And there's a cup on the outside here. But at this point, I'm getting ready to make dinner and I have a bunch to do. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So this end camp stove. This has a couple of different modes. You do have the ability to use this with wood and fill this up and have a wood burning fire inside. But tonight we're in a little bit of a, I'm not gonna say a hurry, but just gotta eat, we're hungry. So instead, I have a burner installed on the inside. Now you can see here, I have a propane tank with an adapter. So you do kind of need an additional adapter if you're gonna use propane, but you can certainly use camp fuel and this goes right onto it nice. So at this point, I have this little adjuster here you can hear the gas can rip if you really wanted to so i'm going to get this going light it and get our food going because like i mentioned we're definitely hungry i'm bringing some water up to boil however the nice thing you can see is this is a large nice stand no problem and no worries about this pot falling off and this is a full three liter pot so you can see in terms of the size of that stand, very, very nice. And the burner height here seems to be adequate too. So this stove is the version two and the pot stand is a little bit taller than on the version one. So you might see some reviews out there for this showing a shorter pot stand, but the version two, it is a little bit taller. And also the other thing is it now accepts that burner without modification. So if you have a version one, you can modify this to accept the burner, but the version two is ready to go. So you can see here again, just a nice clean setup, very easy to use. It takes up a little bit of space. It's not the lightest for backpacking, but where we're just hiking into this campsite, it's working perfectly. So the next piece of this kit, the end camp cutting board. Definitely nice to have a prep surface while you're out here. And we are in for a little bit of a treat. It's taken a little bit of a, a while to get ready, but we got a nice piece of meat here. Well cooked and sizzled on a hot rock in the middle of this beautiful landscape. And so at this point, we're gonna cut it up and enjoy ourselves a little steak entree. I'll lose that. Uh, woo! Yeah. All right. Let's see how we did. Let's see how we did here. Woo, baby. Quite nice. Yeah. Nice. Trying to go easy as to not ditch it. Ooh, looks about perfect, my friend. You want me to get your plate so you can start putting pieces on it? No, I'm good, man. I'm just going to eat with my fingers like a caveman. Barbarian. Barbarian. I'm mixing mine with the rice and bit. Nice. Yeah, help yourself, man. Dig right in. Pull off some nice, nice chunks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. It looks about perfect. Yeah. I'd say that's medium. Not bad. If we're on a rock. If we're on a rock. In a river. It's meant how it's meant to be done. It is exactly how it was meant to be done. I love it. That's some good stuff right there. Mm, that's good. Yeah, a couple oh. nice fatty pieces too. Oh. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Enjoy, my friend. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, and cheers. So, good morning. It is coffee time. It's time to start our day and just enjoy another day of camping. But here I have the End Camp. I don't even know what you call this type of coffee maker, but that's what this is on top here. You'll see a nested cup. 
So that's my cup. And then this Encamp coffee maker. It is very interesting. I've never seen anything like this and I'm not sure exactly what to expect. So it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment. However, basically what I can tell you is this top piece here threads right off. And inside you'll see there's a screen. And then if we look into the top here, there's almost like a spout. And then on this piece here, you'll notice there's also a screen, but that is kind of like a funnel. Now what happens is you fill the bottom with cold water, you put that inside, fill it with coffee grounds, thread this on top, put the whole thing on top of the burner, and magically coffee appears in the top. It's a little counterintuitive to me, but hey, there's only one way to figure this out, and that's to try. So. It's time to get at it. And so now I got this full of water, but I wasn't sure there's this valve, and I'm sure this is a one-way valve, but I'm not 100% sure, and I didn't want to cover it, so my water level is beneath that, and I don't know if that's a big deal or not, uh, but I did want to be careful, at least for the first time using it, to try, and so that's what I did. And next, time for the coffee itself which again for me is a bit of an experiment. I'm not sure exactly what to do. Now as I look, there is a line. I went far below that um, because I only have so much for this trip. I got you know, a number of different uh, times I care to drink coffee. I want another one this afternoon and there's someone else with me who I'm gonna share with. So I didn't wanna use it all. So that's how much I have in here. Now I do have a real nice blend of a uh, house blend uh, from a good quality local coffee shop. I put some espresso, got a little bit of hazelnut cream in here, and that should be a nice tasty cup of coffee. So I'm hoping that's enough, but uh, again, like everything else, just gotta do it to try. And the next thing, which I actually have come to greatly appreciate, is that this Encamp stove has a nice surface to it. So. When we started looking at this, you'll notice there was sand all over the bottom, and I've since cleaned it off. And it's like, you know, there's sand everywhere, and it kind of gets on everything because of the moisture. And now, to have this clean and ready to go, and up off of the ground, that is a nice deal. So, so far, I have to say, I'm greatly enjoying this Encamp stove quite a bit. I'm not gonna go too tight because I guess theoretically I don't really want to pour all of this while the coffee grounds are in here. I feel like it'll make a real mess, but who knows? And I'll take these handles and pop them out so I can manage this. It'll be interesting to see if these get hot or not. I doubt it, but we'll see. Now this definitely fits on there. You'll notice it is a little tight on the pot stands, but at this point you do get a better view of the pot stands. You can see the burner down there doing its job. But yeah, uh, so far this has been great. So I'm curious, very curious about this coffee pot here, how it will work. And I think I'm gonna get a good smooth cup of coffee. I mean, this is gonna boil the water to the point where it makes its way up through uh, that funnel and then up through the spout and then pours into the top of the cup so this is going to be interesting to see it should be very smooth it'll take all the acidity out of the coffee that's for sure I wish I caught it on camera you could hear when it converted from a boil now, I'm not sure how long this is going to take but 
let's keep an eye on it. That's going to be hot on top. I got to be careful. So as you can see in there, and it's tough to see, I was able to prop that open. This is done. That does not take long at all. And in fact, you kind of hear the water in the bottom sort of stop bubbling and boiling. And I think it's completely done. So at this point, boy, that's interesting. Very cool. Uh, but let's uh, now transfer to my cup and I'll enjoy myself a nice cup of coffee. Now here, the cup, that is sweet because stainless steel can get crazy hot. Uh, but on this end camp cup, it does have a rubberized grip to help protect. So at this point, again, leveraging my nice surface, I should be able to easily just pour this in. Now I can tell you the handles are not hot at all. Ooh, what's happening? <laughs> it's making some funny sounds here. that my friends looks like a pretty smooth cup of coffee zero grounds that's a good sign and a good two-thirds of a cup and I'll be curious to see if all the water's out of the bottom of this once it cools down and then we'll figure out how to clean out those grounds so now this is completely cooled down and taking a look unthreading the bottom here and there's your grounds. Now, the first thing I can tell you is I did not put nearly enough. It was very weak. So I feel as though that line that I showed you um, is there for a reason. And I feel like you kind of need to just sort of pack it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do for the next batch. Um, and then you'll see here on the upper portion, just a little bit of the grounds clinging on. Now I'm going to clean all that off. Um, let's take a look on the inside here. Now, I did managed to prop this up while it was in the process of boiling and um, processing coffee that is very hot so you just need to be careful while you're doing that now on the inside and it's going to be a little bit difficult to see but it is a little bit i'd say silty um, with coffee you can kind of see it in there so i got to get that nice and clean clean all that out and then the uh, very bottom so pulling out this funnel here let's see what we got and actually just a tiny bit of grounds and a little bit of coffee in there too so got to get all this cleaned out I'm actually gonna make myself a second cup see if I can get it a little bit stronger this time So second cup here complete. I can definitively say that when you pack the grounds to the proper level, it tastes much better. So this is good and strong. Now that's just a half a cup because I'm sharing. Um, I would say that you know packing the uh, you know apparatus here um, to the appropriate level makes you basically like a cup of coffee. Um, so it's really one serving at a time, but uh, very interesting. It works fairly well and. Uh, this is going to be a nice cup here. You get to the bottom of Eric? Yeah, sometimes. If it's thin. Yeah. So that's, I think that's why Brandon got bit. He was still a blanket at the bottom or something. Mm -hmm. I can feel the air passing through. Yeah, I need, we need to put a lot of blankets. Well, we'll just do it in the backyard and test it out. Heavier stuff. If you sleep well, then we can invest in now I don't want to overlook the case. The case itself is awesome. I really like this. It's been a great platform to work out of and it's been perfect to hold all my essentials. So throughout my time camping, I have all my utensils right here in this mesh. And then inside you have the ability to put your cutting board. You'll notice these straps. These are multi positioned so that if you put them down here, you can actually on the outside of the bag, you can lash the uh, coffee pot and um, the cup which is really nice to make a self-contained kit. But for me, where I'm packing this a little bit separately, I'm gonna put my cutting board in here, get this cleaned up, put it inside, and I'll be good to go. But the case is very, very nice. I do greatly like it.
So as I pour myself a final cup of coffee, we're pretty much wrapping up this trip and we're gonna head out. Uh, but at this point, I have to say, I have greatly enjoyed this end camp cook set. This has been wonderful. I mean, the burner works great. The platforms are awesome. Even pouring my coffee, uh, it's a pretty smooth cup. Um, a little bit of grounds in there, but not a big deal. Doesn't make a huge amount, uh, but it's enough to satisfy. And then overall, cutting board working very well. So the entire kit, I would say, is a success. So at this point, got to clean it up, pack it up, and we're going to get out of here. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.